Okay, so fresh off the announcement that they have already greenlit a season two of The Last of Us, we get episode three, which is without a doubt the biggest departure from the game so far. Also happens to be my favorite episode, so let's talk about it. So it starts with Ellie and Joel walking through the woods as they're on the way to get, uh, hopefully, a car from a guy named Bill. Cut to the rest of the episode, which is mostly a flashback to reveal a relationship between Bill and a man named Frank. And holy crap, is this a complete departure from the game. The Pretty much the only things I can think of that are the same as the game in this episode are the fact that Joel and Ellie walk through the woods at one point, they get to Bill's town, and they get a car in the end. And then there's one interaction where um, Joel lays out the, the, the rules if Ellie's going to be with him. Other than that, everything is completely different from the game. I mean, completely different. We get so much more of a sense of hope in this episode, and it's just a very simple story about love and a world that is mostly devoid of love. It is, I think, a terrific episode all around. And like I said, it's probably my favorite episode so far. And I absolutely love that the writers are willing to take this many liberties with the game for the show and completely change it. And it fills me with hope for season two, because I think any of us who have played the game are a little bit concerned, cautious about what may happen in season two. To put it lightly. Now, as always, there will be spoilers in this review. So if you haven't played the game, seen the episode, you know what to do. So, yeah, let's get into some spoiler talk. Um, I mean, in the game, we meet Bill and he is grumpy and kind of, and I would just say an asshole. Basically, he's mean and he touches upon a relationship he had with a partner at one point and uh, says, well, I learned that that shit's only good for one thing and that's getting you killed. So I wisened up. And then later on, as we've been with him for a little while in the game, we see, we stumble upon the body of Frank, who's hung himself and left a note that basically says, I hate you, Bill, and I couldn't stand another minute in this town with you. I wanted something more for my life, and I, I went to go steal the car battery that you're always talking about in that military truck, and it looks like it got me killed, because I got bit, and obviously that's why he hangs himself. Um, and that's it. That's, a, that's the extent of the relationship we get in the game. And it is so just depressing i mean it is that is sad and the the direction that the writers have chosen to take with the show couldn't be more different we get a story filled with love about two characters who really actually grew to care about one another and whose lives became about each other and they became enough for each other in this this little town that they have and then to have frank die of an unspecified disease to have that be what kill him just essentially as close to natural causes you're going to get in this world and then the fact that bill chooses to go out with him because as he says you're my purpose um i thought it was beautiful and both actors did a terrific job i was very excited to see both of these actors in the show and to see what they could bring to it and neither of them disappointed I'm sure there are going to be, be people who are upset because this episode was such a big departure from the game, and I've already seen people who are complaining that not every element from the game is in the show. And I, again, I don't care. It's a show. It's a completely different medium from a game. You can't just take a game verbatim and put it in a show and expect it to work. That's not how... That's, that doesn't happen. So they have to change things. They have to take chances. They have to elaborate on certain storylines and cut out certain storylines. And this i thought was a complete home run i thought they they nailed this so and i love that they're taking so much time to to give us backstories about characters and in this case characters that, were, that weren't even essential to the game they weren't even integral to the game but they've chosen to give us so much more depth to these characters which in turn gives us more depth to the world and i think that's important because whereas in the game you have 20 to 60 hours, depending on how slow you are, 60 if you're like me, you have that much time to spend with these characters in the game. And you're controlling their actions and, and you're exploring every facet of this world. So you have no choice but to become attached to these characters in the game. We don't get that kind of time in the show. There's nine episodes. And so the only way that they can make us care about the characters and the world 
is to give us these backstories and to tell these stories. And I thought that just every decision they made in this episode worked. I mean, at the end of the day, what was the only goal that had to be achieved by the end of this episode? That's Ellie and Joel getting this car so they can continue on their journey. That's the whole point. Everything you go through in the game to get to that, it, that is the end goal. And there's other small things they've changed from the game too. I think some of the things they've done with Ellie make a lot more sense in the show. For example, the fact that she's she's never seen a plane. She's never been in a car. She gets in the car and she's like, man, this is like a spaceship. Whereas in the game, she knows how to pop the clutch and drive off and help them start the car again. I think in the show, this makes a lot more sense. There's a lot of things that happen with Frank that I thought would make good set pieces in the show. And I'm very curious to see if they now incorporate them at a different time in the show or if they just skip over it entirely because we had no infected other than the one that Ellie studied before she killed, which I thought was a good moment for her to... She's so curious to know what happens to people and, and how much humanity is left in them when they turn. I like her curiosity in the show and I like that she studies this thing before she kills it. And like I said, we only saw Infected once in this episode. And for a show that is about the end of the world and quote-unquote zombies, they're not zombies, but let's just say zombies, to have an entire episode so early in the run of the show that features essentially no infected, no zombies, was a brave decision. But again, like I said, I thought it was personally my favorite episode so far. Yeah, um, on to episode four, and I'll see you guys next week.